Don't let anybody tell you Beagle 2 was a failure. Uh, we had 16 million viewers on our website, 6 a.m. on Christmas morning, which was more viewers than only Fools and Horses had it, the more sociable hours, 6 p.m. on Christmas Day. So there was an enormous amount of interest in what we were doing. That newspaper coverage, this is a plot of the number of newspaper articles per week from about a six-year period. That newspaper coverage has been sustained throughout 2004 and into 2005. The public still love us. They still want this expiration, the voyage of expiration to take place. This is quite amazing to me that this, uh, this interest in Beagle has been sustained for 15 months beyond losing the spacecraft. If you look at that newspaper coverage, the ad value just for the landing alone, not for all of it, but the ad value just for the landing alone, how much was it worth in advertising space in the newspapers? Well, it was actually worth a quarter of a billion pounds. We didn't sell that advertising space because there was nobody brave enough to buy it off us. If we go again, however, there might be, it might be a different story. But even that sum of money pales into insignificance when you think of what is potentially spun off by Beagle 2. I told you we were able to miniaturize a room full of a kit to make a mass spectrometer. We were funded to do this by the, uh, by the Wellcome Trust for the reason that portable, rugged, sterilizable mass spectrometers have a wide variety of applications here on Earth. Most importantly, Wellcom was thinking about medical and clinical applications. We are currently working on using mass spectrometers for diagnosis of uh, early diagnosis of medical conditions. One of the areas that we're working in is an area in which 3,000 people die annually. And uh, the people who die annually actually could have a, a longer life if they were screened earlier and they uh, got treatment. The screening process is invasive and it is rather unpleasant, and so people don't take the test until it's too late. If we could prolong life for 3,000 people per year, how much value do you put on a human life and how long it extends? Anyway, this interest in uh, exploring Mars has pervaded into the government psyche. And earlier this week, it was announced as part of the comprehensive spending review, money will be available for the exploration of Mars through a program called Aurora. This Aurora program, we hope, will see the reflight of Beagle in, a, in another form. Why should we be reflying it? Well, if it was a good scientific experiment in 1997 when we first proposed it to the European Space Agency, it is an even better scientific experiment now. Nobody yet has answered this question about is there life on Mars. However, spacecraft such as the NASA exploration rovers and Mars Express itself have told us a great deal more about the planet, particularly about the presence of water, which is the essential ingredient of life, and also that there is methane in the Martian atmosphere. This might be indicative of living organisms on the surface of the planet, somewhere where there is a warm environmental niche where they could be surviving. So we, the big question is there still to be answered. <laughs>